After three years of political instability, around 900,000 voters are expected to head to the polls in Guinea-Bissau, with hopes of finding a better path forward for the country. In the streets of the capital Bissau, voters voiced high hopes as well as anxiety due to post-election violence in years past. Voting will start on Sunday, June 4th, with a field of candidates that includes 20 parties and two coalitions. More than 150 international observers have already arrived to witness voters go to the ballot box. Serifu Jamanka, a college student, says his country needs change to develop and have some political stability. People, first of all, must think and reflect, not vote the same way, because we need change. How many years is going to be suspense? Till now we are in the same boat. We must change. And I think it's good. Another voter, Ekitania Celestino Jumam, a university professor, says she is embedding on election results to bring change because, she says, people vote along ethnic and religious lines. Here in Guinea-Bissau, how people vote, they don't vote for the programs of the deputy because the deputies, they don't uh, offer the programs, yes. People vote because of um, this person belongs to my ethnic group or he belongs to, we are in the same religion. Jumem says it's important for citizens educate themselves about who they are voting for and how they will address their concerns. We need people, the politics that are going to show us their programs, the deputy that are come to us and talk to us. We, people should know their representative before voting in them. They should know them well. During the election campaign, there were reports of politicians distributing money and food, a practice considered normal in recent years. It will be uh, so essential if our votes are based on the program that the political party will, uh, will give us and uh, the profile of, uh, of those politicians. The current election campaign has taken place without incident. Former Mozambican president Joaquin Chisanu, who heads the African Union Observer Mission, is confident of a peaceful process, but recalls that in the past, conflicts have arisen after elections. Everything happened after the elections. The country needs to move forward. On June 2nd, the main political parties will finish the campaign here in Bissau with big rallies. And on June 4th, the people will choose the new parliament and government. From Bissau to VOA, Alvaro Ruggero Andrade.